Hello and welcome to News Review from BBC Learning English. I'm Neil and joining me for this programme is Tom. Hello, Tom. Hello, Neil, and hello to our audience. Uh, today's story is about the start of the world's most famous tennis tournament, Wimbledon. If you want to test yourself on any vocabulary that you hear today, there's a quiz on our website at bbclearningenglish.com. Now let's find out some more about the start of Wimbledon from this BBC News report. Wimbledon gets underway today after being cancelled in 2020 because of the pandemic. The grounds will be allowed to have half the usual crowds building to full capacity on centre court for the finals in a fortnight. OK, so it's the start of the famous tennis tournament, Wimbledon. Last year, the tournament didn't happen. There was no Wimbledon because of the COVID-19 pandemic. This year, only half the normal amount of visitors are allowed to go to Wimbledon. But they hope to be able to allow more visitors later in the tournament. You've been looking at this story, checking out the various news and sports websites to find some language that's useful. What have you got? I have wash out, makes the most of it, and net gain. Wash out, makes the most of it, and net gain. So let's start then with your first headline, please, Tom. Yeah, my first headline, Neil, is from Mail Online here in the UK. It says, Wimbledon must be on the way. Tennis tournament bases first week washout as Met Office warns thunderstorms will bring torrential rain, flooded roads and travel chaos on Monday. Washout. Event ruined by heavy rain. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about washout. Um, OK, so yeah, washout is all one word. Uh, W-A-S-H-O-U-T. A washout. It's a noun. And it describes something completely ruined by the rain. Yeah, and it's clearly made up by uh, made up of two words put together, wash and out. Now, most people know that washing is connected to cleaning things. This has uh, got more to do with the sort of volume of liquid, of water, hasn't it? Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, if you think wash of movement of water, then this water comes and it washes the event out. It sort of puts it out of the picture. Yeah, so it creates a big problem. Yeah, so here we have it as a as a noun, a washout. Um, but there's also a, a verb, a phrasal verb version, <laughs> isn't there? Yeah, unsurprisingly, the phrasal verb is wash out. Two separate words, that verb wash and the, uh, the particle out. Um, so we could say that Wimbledon could be washed out by the rain. You'd often see it um, with that participle form. Yes, yeah, or a, or a wedding or something like that. Or, in fact, I just got a notification from my son's cricket team saying that tonight's game is washed out. It is a washout. It's cancelled. We could say a complete washout or a total washout as well. We could use these sort of strong words with it. There is one other meaning as well, Neil. OK, yeah, what's that? Um, which is actually to do with cleaning. When you were a child, did your mother ever tell you to wash your mouth out? Well, I, I know what you're going to say next, uh, uh, Tom, but uh, I never, <laughs> ever used any bad language or swear words. So this didn't happen to me, but I know it happened to you. So if we clean the inside of something with water, uh, we could say that we wash it out. Now, when I was a kid and I used to use bad language, my mother would say to me, Thomas, go and wash your mouth out with soap and water. You know, go and clean your mouth and stop using it to say dirty things. Obviously, Neil... That doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. She did a good job because I've never heard you use a bad word. Maybe after this slide. <laughs> OK, let's get a summary. Heavy rain is, of course, an inconvenience for lots of people, but for others it can be really, really serious. We have a story about what heavy rain did in Australia, don't we, Tom? Yeah, we do. And it uses that word torrential from our last headline. So you can find out by clicking the link. OK, let's have a look at your next headline. Sure. My next headline is from the New York Times in the USA. It says, Danielle Lau gets back to Wimbledon and makes the most of it. Makes the most of it. 
tries to enjoy something as much as possible. Yeah, so this expression, makes the most of it, it's got a third person S. We normally say make the most of it. it means try to enjoy something as much as possible. It's an idiom, uh, which means that the meaning is separate from the individual meaning of the words. And if you look at these words, make the most of it, they don't say they don't tell us that much. So altogether, they have this meaning for the set phrase, try to enjoy something as much as possible. Yeah, so we can think about um, often situations where things haven't gone exactly as you planned. So, um, Tom, you've probably had the experience of a summer holiday in the in the UK. Yeah, very recently, a couple of weeks ago in Devon. How was the weather? Actually, it was beautiful. It was not a washout, but there's always that chance. Yeah, so now I've, I remember a holiday I had in Scotland a few years ago uh, where it rained all day, every day. It didn't stop raining, but we, made, washout? we made the most of it. You know, we, uh, we still did the things we wanted to do. We saw some beautiful countryside, lots of nice uh, whiskey in Scotland. So we kept ourselves entertained. We made the most of it. Yeah, you can make the most of it. Uh, another one, Neil, is you can make the best of it. This is a different sort of variation, has the same meaning. You could make the most of it, make the best of it, and it is a pronoun. So you could say you made the best of your holiday. Time now for a summary. So, talking about idiomatic language, we have a whole series on idioms and uh, the sort of English that people use in their everyday lives. It's called The English We Speak. Where can our viewers find it, Tom? Uh, they can, as always, they can click the link in the video description. Okay, let's have a look at your next headline. Next headline, Neil, uh, from The Guardian back in the UK again. It says, this is my favourite headline, it says, Wimbledon's bars and eateries caught public in hopes of net gain. Net gain. Final profit. Now, this is, fa <laughs> this is fantastic, isn't it, Tom? There are a couple of jokes in here, what we call puns. Plays with There are work. a couple of puns. Yeah, before we look at the puns, let's have a look at the actual meaning of, uh, of net gain. Uh, so, gain. Um, gain can be a verb and it can be a noun. It means what we receive, or it means to receive. And if you run a business, uh, the net gain is kind of your final profit. So after you've paid your staff and paid your taxes and thought about your, co your costs, it is the profit that you have remaining. It is your net gain, pure profit. Yeah, often used in financial uh, language and situations. Uh, but there is a double meaning here, isn't there? Yeah, there is, um, which is that when you play tennis, you, of course, use a net. Yeah, you try to avoid the net. <laughs> you try, yeah, you avoid the net. Uh, and you also, you play tennis on a tennis court. So if we look back at the headline, um, the writer of this headline, he's having a joke. Uh, to court the public means to be nice to the public and appeal to them. Um, obviously, it's an excuse to use that word court and it's an excuse to word, use the word net because we're talking about tennis. It's a very funny British headline. <laughs> yes, and very typical of headline writers. They like to find these words that have double meanings which kind of reflect on the story. Yeah, so anyway, net gain is the final amount of money that you make um, if you're a business person. Uh, the opposite is a net loss. So if you finish trading and you haven't made any money, you've made a net loss. Um, I'm kind of at a loss as to what more I can say about this one, Neil. Okay, that sounds like it's the right time to get a summary. Time now then, Tom, for a recap of our vocabulary, please. Of course, today's vocabulary was washout, event ruined by heavy rain. Uh, makes the most of it, tries to enjoy something as much as possible, and net gain, which is final profit. If you want to test yourself on the vocabulary, please go to our website, bbclearningenglish.com. You can find a quiz there. Don't forget also that we are all over social media. Thanks for joining us and goodbye. Bye. <laughs>